Could you play that sample?
Irish music of the 17th century. So to say that rock and roll and hillbilly music have a lot to like, I like while disregarding the Irish element of rock and roll music, is to create a grave blunder. However, not only was it rock and roll and rockabilly and bluegrass, which is a lie, but also rock and roll and rhythm and blues. Rhythm and blues arose out of the swing style of jazz, which was popularized due to a BMI strike and a radio strike in 1941. Only an underground following got swing underway, and it was by the end of World War II only that swing became the archetypal and pattern-induced music of a generation. People who were bored with swing and the financial constraints caused by touring eight to 12 piece bands in a post-war recession forced swing bands to reduce themselves to three or four members and thus began the very roots of the rhythm and blues which eventually blossomed out, one might say, into the rock and roll we know today. No such mention of rhythm and blues as influencing rock and roll can be made without pointing to Sam Cooke and Jackie Wilson, the latter of whom died tragically of a stroke, which actually meant he lingered on for seven years, and the former of whom was not scalded by a plate of hot bricks, that was Marvin Gaye, but rather uh, got into some sort of fight with a woman who he tried to seduce and was fatally shot in a hotel corridor. Thus, the black rebels who formed the very bases of rock and roll were cruelly cut down due to their inability to control their raging hormones and, for that matter, the intense pressure of great, almost shamanistic fame. Nor indeed, the central figure of rock and roll, the guitar player, is like the high priest consecrating a mass, and his followers show their worship for him by lighting ceremonial cigarette lighters. Thus, these lights represent the Holy Spirit entering the body of each of the rock and roll supplicants at the arena concert, which was a debased form of rock and roll, which rock and roll eventually evolved into. That's the end of part one. Part two, part two, this is a lot shorter. Basically, the Beatles decided it would be great to like leech off of Motown, and that was the basis of the entire British invasion. Show tunes, English dance hall trap, and Motown. That's about as close as the British blues ever got to the real blues, except of course for people like Eric Clapton. But of course the British forced the Americans to see that they had a rich musical heritage. Stupid Lonnie Donegan with his chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight type songs, which is basically just black folk blues taken straight out of Leadbury Valley and the Library of Congress recordings, transfigured by the introduction of Motown roots into the British invasion style of rock and roll. How this led to bloated arena excess, I can't say, except that with the arrival of the zombies and some of the Beatles studio experiments, there came a style of Baroque rock and roll, chamber rock, which eventually blossomed into the hideous abomination known as arena rock, which eventually created a counter-revolution in the Ramones, in the New York Dolls, in the Sex Pistols, in Sid Vicious, in Johnny Thunders, in all the people who decided that the bar venue was far more accommodating to the message they had to transmit. Once rock and roll became a mass movement, it lost most of its initial potency. It was only by restoring it to the original, almost secretive mass aspects, as in holy mass, that rock and roll was again reborn as punk rock. The 1980s showed another recession, which had the same constricting effect on inventiveness in rock and roll as the big band World War II recession. Therefore, rock and roll is undergoing a third cycle of expansion and contraction, which we have yet to see the end of. But now that rap music is in, an authentic black music based in moral folk traditions, perhaps rock and roll will be forced to adapt itself into a oral, postmodern, post-industrial,
Peggy Sue got married. I think now I'd like to introduce the man responsible for the piano sample, um, so I can call him a collaborator now. Mr. Freddie Kay, let's hear it for him. Mr. Freddie Kay.
have something I put together this afternoon in between tea and coffee. from a train, so I think I can talk for four minutes about throwing mine from a plane.
words, but uh, I scrambled them together somewhat. Uh, it's called Gates Unbarred. It's for my brothers and sisters that are in jail at this time that couldn't conform to the lovely set of rules that have been set up. In the cold of my prison cell, I feel so far from heaven and so close to hell, but in the cold of my prison, still I hear the preacher's words, and remember them well, remember them well, remember them well. He said, he said, Jesus loves me. Anybody 
Fantastic and altogether fantabulous. I already said that. Freddie K. Freddie K. It's here for me. Shots of a beer. What's the boy? Oh, it ruined my career. Oh, we'll kill the sound man later. <laughs> well, you loved him in Walter. You liked him in Step Into, if you ever even heard of him. And uh, 
Well, he's been involved in so many projects, including his latest phone book, that we can't even begin to adequately describe his accomplishments, let alone relate them to you on a stage intended for a forum composed primarily of people and their family members. Mr. Eric Wadi. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Feel free to catch them anytime because I don't sing for them, and you will be subjected to this massive raspiness. Uh, what happened to Between Stage Banner? Oh, you, you want to let for yourself, Francis? I, I get it, okay. <laughs> Actually, now we have Mr. Eric Brown. Please give him your full attention and give him a big round, too. Eric Brown. Free as a dove, come see. 
Enough before we go back. Well, our next to last guest is Mr. Keith Benice. He's played here many times. You can also catch him at the Blues Jam and virtually every gym in town, including, I suspect, Can't You Rise and Star. Is that correct? I just went there once. Oh, well, we'll be there again in many other venues as well. So watch for the name, Keith Benice. Let's give him a hand. Keith Benice. song called 1969. It's 1969, okay. Walk across the USA. six tiers. Jamaica 
drops with one heart, no cherry on. Get way on top now. Let's see you left me. You're always laughing. Way down at me. But what chat now? I'm gonna get you. We'll be together for just a little while. Then I'll put you way down here. And you'll start trying. 96 years. Try. I'll just cry. song that was originally done by Muddy Waters. This is called I'm Your Hoochie Coochie Man.
you got a bullet shack coming. Gonna be a son of a gun. You're gonna make all the girls. Oh, jump and shout. In a word of wonder. But so bad, you know I will. Saturday, which is January 25th. So, can I plug my gig here? Please, of course, thank you. And uh, also Wednesday, at TT the Bear right around the corner, which is January 29th. So, there you have it. Now you may. This record's called Peter Frampton Breaking All the Rules. There, I just broke Peter Francis. Welcome to the Wrong Heroes world. The thing that sets the Wrong Hero apart is that the Wrong Hero is always in the wrong place at the wrong time. And everything the Wrong Hero does is wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Alright, no more music for now. 
There is a God, but he forgot my name. Brom. Good, I will spare you. My underwear is so dirty, I crinkle when I walk. Brom. Good. Brom. I'm glad that you animals have been placed here for my satisfaction. Brom. I'm torn from today's headlines, and I'm not very happy about it. Brom. Brom. My motto is, Brom. sit down, little man. I'm talking. Brom. I hate sensitive people. Sensitive people always try to hold you hostage to their paranoid delusions. Wrong. I hate insensitive people who go around and ignore my very existence because they're insensitive. Wrong, 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 wrong. And I hate bureaucrats who think that this country exists solely for their benefit and not so we can pay off our debts to Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm wrong. George Bush is going to spend a hundred million dollars to dredge up Boston Harbor. I'm wrong. I got news for him. I beat him to it. I dredged up all the tea in Boston Harbor. And you know what I did with it? I smoked it. Wrong. And you know what that did to me? Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. in a nuclear power plant for six months. Now I can use my slop jar for a nightlight. What a fringe benefit. You know the old saying, you can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. Well, what kind of sissy coaster lying down wearing perfumey water under his arms, white tuxedo shirts in broad daylight, and don't tie And you know what else they say? They say, old friends are like old shoes. Because you can walk all over them. And you know what else I hate? People who stereotype. They're all the same. Wouldn't it be great if we used the subjunctive every day and we didn't even realize it? I don't like you anymore. Welcome to George Hoover Herbert Walker's head. Do you know why Bush collapsed at that Japanese summit? They served him broccoli! <laughs> running for Republican and Buchanan's running for Republican and George Bush is running for Republican. Great! Don't puke and puke! Just what we need. And who are the other midgets from Nebraska and Arkansas and some god-awful state called Massachusetts and, and Iowa, the Democrats running for office? What about Art Agnos? What about Leonora Fulani? What about those people? What about Tom Paulson? He's running for the 1500th time. Harold Stassen, he's running. Okay, he's not running as a Democrat. He's running as a perennial misfit loser. That's why he's my candidate. Wrong, wrong. I'm the wrong hero of my personal philosophy is I'm okay but the rest of you must be sacrificed! I don't like you people. You're the kind of people who would lick baklava off a baby's upturned snout. I don't like that kind of behavior. 
Dan Quill's gonna make a real good president, wrong. especially wrong. in foreign policy. Yeah. Witnessing all those racetrack accidents at the Indy 500, that's wrong. bound to get him an understanding of our global geopolitics. Wrong, 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 wrong. Last week, wrong. Lloyd Bridges wrong. was born. Wrong. Wrong. In 1913. Wrong. Wrong. Lloyd Bridges, the man who every time you hear da 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 you see his ugly face looming over you and it's bloated hideousness. Wrong. Wrong. Chuck Berry was born in 1928. Wrong. Wrong. He's the man who gave us the immortal phrase. Wrong. 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 As I had a Cadillac motivating over the hill. Wrong. That's immortal poetry. Martin Luther King was born last week. He's the man who said, I am a dream. And Captain Beefheart was born last week. He's the man who said, who a dart? Who a day? Who a dart? Wrong. And Ronnie Van Sant was born last week. He's the man who said, I'm as free as a bird. Wrong, wrong, Not anymore. Wrong, 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 they all break some wrong, records. Wrong, 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 Charlie wrong, Rich. Wrong, there wrong, won't wrong, be any more. You can say wrong, that again. Wrong, 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 wrong. Atlanta Rhythm Section. Everybody gotta go. You fucking A. Glenn Campbell. Tennessee home. Go there. Kenny Rogers. Mama's way. She sure is. Time to die. Am I boring you yet? Barry Manilow. They gave in to the blues. I gave in to the impulse to destroy this record. And I'm glad. Journey. Frontiers. How about death, the final frontier, assholes? Two. Begazi Totsi by Umberto Totsi. Umberto Totsi! Let's go to the supermarket and buy some Italian style vegetables in the frozen 16 ounce bag for a dollar 29. And it's to Umberto Totsi! Giorgio Moroder, call me. I'll call you dead. <laughs> Kenny Rogers, till I get it right, which is never. Paul Jabara, Yankee Paul Dale. with Elevator. Elevate this, sucker. <laughs> Gloria the Magnificent by Bobby Braddock. <laughs> the Destroyed. <laughs> Mac Davis. Emily Suzanne. Back with Rock and Roll. I gave you the best years of my life. Well, now it's time to die. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl Hall and John Oates. I can't go for that. No can do. I'll say. <laughs> Hodges, James, and Smith. Off. <laughs> Need I say more? Easter Parade by Guy Lombardo. And my insane Easter bar with the straws on it, with all the frills on it. Die. <laughs> Music box dancer, Frank Mills. There's a little dancing for you. Hold on to my love by Jimmy Ruffin. Ugh. Ugh, it's sticky. <laughs> totally hot by Olivia Newton John. Totally dead by the wrong hero. <laughs> One man's woman by Kenny Rogers, backed with 
you decorated my life. I'm gonna decorate the tarmac with your choppers if you ever come around here, beardo. <laughs> Playboy Records, After the Storm by Wynn Stewart. You spoke too soon. Mo Bandy, that's what makes the jukebox play. Backed with, are we making love or just making friends? I think I'll save this one. <laughs> I'd rather have a heart abused. What about some? Well, this one won't break. Who is it by? Margot Smith, of course. The famous Margot Smith. Topping the chart to Billboard number one. Bumping Nirvana off the top spot. Margot Smith, the inestimable Margot Smith. Bessie Smith, move over. <laughs> it's time for Margot. I'm skating on her goddamn record head. <laughs> Nova Scotia by Carolina Edwards, backed with, I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you go. <laughs> Pure Prairie League, let me love you tonight. Not a chance. Frank Sinatra, the hurt doesn't go away. Hope that hurt enough for you, Frankie. <laughs> Crystal Gale, talking in your sleep and not making a damn word of sense either. <laughs> Denise Women, Williams, waiting by the hotline, backed with love notes. How's about my message of, hey, die! <laughs> and now, wrong, 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 wrong. a taste of honey presents a taste of hell. Carolina Edward. Yes, wrong, wrong, wrong. The world famous Carolina Edwards. <laughs> what? Yet another one? This must be hell. What's the next record in the Wrong Heroes Desert Island Discs? Carolina Edwards with Nova Scotia, and I'm so glad to see you. slip in a reference to smoking pot because all the Billboard Top 40 people are potheads. Die! Thank you. You know, I'm honored to appear before you. I'm crafty and subtle, and I exert an uncanny hypnotic influence, and you better forget I ever said that. I'd like to talk a little bit now that President's Day is coming up about our president, starting with our first president, George Herbert Walker Bush. Well, he told the British that it was okay if they stuck around for another 20 years, and that was our first president. Our second president was Ronald Reagan. He lost the War of 1812. And then our third president was Jimmy Carter. Uh, and that was the era of good feeling. All the colonial ladies bundled with all their boyfriends before they even got married. And then after Jimmy Carter, our fourth president was Gerald Ford. But mercifully, he has been forgotten. And then after that, our fifth president was Richard Nixon. He sold the country to Canada 
So the United States no longer existed for the sixth president, who was Lyndon Baines Johnson. The seventh president, John F. Kennedy, was put in prison for being too good looking. And the eighth president, Ike Eisenhower, was too old and died on inauguration day of a bad head cold because medicine was too primitive back then to treat a simple cold. Our eighth president, Harry Truman got involved in scandals involving vast sums of money plundered from frontiersmen who had gone out and shot many wild animals in order to manufacture minks. And our 10th president and our final president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, not only sold what was left of the United States to Russia, but he also gave away territories that didn't even belong to him. Just remember, today is January 22nd, the day Sam Cooke was born. It is also the day that George Gordon, Lord Byron, was born. And had he lived, he would have been 204 years old, which is how old you would have to be before you could finish his epic poem, Don Hua. I'm the wrong hero, and as I stand amidst this scene of carnage, which I generated for your benefit, I have only one thing to say to you. You are beginning to bore me!
anthropology from classical philosophy to existentialism. It's like exactly my alley. That you are a very sick. Consciousness is at first unreflective and emotional consciousness is at first consciousness of the world. It is not even necessary to bring up the whole theory. In order to clearly understand the principle, a few simple observations may suffice. They dared cocaine and lost. Can Gorbachev last? The true king of beasts. Woman in the photograph. Who needs a seatbelt? How the Democrats can win. Losing him was easy. Collision at gunpow. Why the Afghans fight. Secrets of successful Now leaders. it is certain that the we can reflect of being on our likeable. action. But an operation by Roger the universe is carried out most Be kind often to your without the subjects leaving the unreflected plane. For example, at this a moment, license to I am care. Writing, but Lost I have no creations. Of Inflation of youth. The, the day of the bear. An American journey. Hollywood's worst director. Letters, Carousel treasures. Congress is out of control. Organize the paper in your mind. To destruss explaining things. Damn it! Describe what to happen. In reality, writing is not at all unconscious. North to the pole!